Fibonacci time projections are conceptually the same as price projections. As far as the training software usage is concerned, uh, they're easier because time projections are all left mouse clicks. And the reason for that is that we're concerned only with the horizontal uh, distance between bars and we don't have to calculate uh, vertical distance at all as we do with price. To do Fibonacci time projections in the training software, you want to be sure that the time radio button is clicked. As with the price ratios, there are certain Fibonacci ratios that are more relevant for each of the individual techniques. Uh, I've simply selected some at random here uh, so that they separate enough to see them on the display. Uh, you're going to have to refer to the ebook uh, to see which ratios are the more important for each individual technique. Uh, my personal favorite time projection technique is parallel. In the book, we have a type 1 and a type 2 parallel time projection. I'll show you the type 2 because, uh, well, that's my favorite. As you move the cursor and roll the cursor across the bars, you can see that the bar that you're over uh, becomes highlighted. Uh, another unique feature of the time projections is that you don't really have to be on the bar or anywhere near it. Uh, you'll see after the first one's complete, but you're going to place the time projections at the location, at the vertical location that the cursor is at when you start it. All right, I'm going to show you a parallel type 2 time projection. We're going to start at the July 19th high. We're going to move over to the September 4th high that we've seen a couple times with the price projections. Left click. And now we're going to go to the August 16th low. And that's in between uh, the two highs we just picked. Left clicked. And the projections are drawn out on the chart. Retracements, uh, same technique, left clicks only, and we're going to place these uh, a little below the parallel projection so that uh, we can see where they come up. We're going to do a retracement of the prior downswing before the upswing. Left click on the July 19th high, left click on the August 16th low. You can see that the two light green triangles indicate where we clicked, and the darker green triangles indicate the time projections uh, from our click locations. The third time projection technique is expansion. And for this, we're going to start at the August 16th low and expand the first upswing from the August 16th low. And we'll place this series underneath uh, our other two. We'll go to the August 16th low, and we can see that the bar highlighted in magenta when we rolled over it. Left click, swing over to the September 4th high, and we know we're there because the bar turned magenta, and click. And we get the time projections going forward. If you just watch the price projection video, uh, you can see that we got some decent projections up around the 55 price level. And if we look at the Fibonacci time projections we got, we're within a couple bars of the ultimate high, uh, swing high, from the August 16th low. So when you combine these techniques and cluster your Fibonacci projections, uh, refine them with the focuser tool or other techniques that you can use. We mentioned uh, Elliott Wave in the book. We mentioned uh, uh, 
the Hearst method or the square of nine method, roadmap charts uh, can also be used. But you end up with a pretty powerful tool uh, that's really not that difficult to use. The calculations are not difficult if your current trading platform doesn't allow you to do Fibonacci time projections, and chances are, uh, unless there were a lot of zeros on the purchase price that it does not, uh, you can do these by hand fairly quickly. Okay, that's the end of the Fibonacci time projection video.